Hello, welcome back to Tommy's Top Shelf Comics for the week of October 26th, 2022. I'm Tommy, joined by Murphy. Hello. It's Friday. It's been a crazy week for us. We've both been very busy. We apologize that it's a little late, but we figured it'd be better late than never. So, these there's, were There's our... like seven people listening to us, dude. Like, <laughs> they gotta know our opinion. Oh, yeah. Even if it's yeah. two days late. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we appreciate our listeners and don't want to miss a week completely. So uh, we also have some exciting stuff planned that I want to go over before we hop into our top five. So Murphy, do you want to talk about some giveaways that we're going to be doing? Yeah, so we had talked a couple weeks ago about our giveaways now that we've switched over to Tommy's Top Shelf as opposed to Tommy's Top, top Picks. picks. <laughs> and Which is still <laughs> there if you like our card stuff. That's true. So we are going to announce our giveaways. Pictures will be going up on my Instagram later at Murphy's underscore comics. Um, but at 25, we're giving away a Gabriel Del Auto New York Comic Con exclusive. It is Amazing Spider-Man number one facsimile with a new variant cover. And then at 75, we'll be giving away a CGC 9.8 Signature Series uh, Venom 23 Scotty Young variant signed by Scotty Young. That's so awesome. that's yeah. Yeah. Scotty Young. And it's a sweet, it's a sweet yeah. cover. Yeah, you'll, you'll if you probably know what it is, but yeah, you should. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> segment dropping the bomb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll be giving those away. Like I said, at 25 and 75. Uh, subscribers, and we'll probably be doing ducks to give them away. Of course, there's always ducks. ducks. There's always ducks. Um, yeah. And then the other thing that I wanted to announce is we are going to be doing our first series spotlight. We've been talking about it a lot. Uh, we have a guest that is going to come on, and we are going to chat with them about Invincible. So Invincible is going to be our first spotlight series. It's probably going to be a longer video than our usual ones. Think like podcast length, probably. Uh, where we just really do a deep dive into the series of Invincible, go over key issues, the story, what we liked, what we didn't like, um, the characters, all that kind of stuff. Just spotlighting well, the series also, as a whole. You know, for not spec, but just collector yeah, uh, info collecting too. Investing we'll be issues, away key issues. Right, key issues and major stuff that you know you might have in your collection you might not you know if you're a fan of the series stuff to just grab and have for your personal collection i mean i think invincible as a property is only going to get bigger i mean i think the amazon yeah, series i'm, I'm just waiting well. for the second series uh second, second season, season because i mean it was good yeah and it was I mean, brutal kind of a preview. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a preview for later, but that image book that came out with Ryan Otley back on Invincible, I don't know if that was like a... I'm hoping that's like a teaser of something to come. Well, so it's supposed to... Uh, apparently Battle Beast is getting a series. Okay, good. Um, Whether it takes place during Invincible... It doesn't matter. And <laughs> wherever, it, wherever it takes place, we don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, or at least I don't, but... Uh, you know, it so that should be pretty fun. Yeah. Ryan cool. Otley was sell or er, signing a whole lot of Skybound twenty fives. Oh I when bet when I went to Comic Con. Oh I bet. Yeah. You know, but then I was like, yeah, I I I needed Spider Man one <laughs> sign. Fair. <laughs> Fair. Cool. Well, do we wanna hop into our top five? Yeah, let's get get to it. So our number five is Batman Gotham Knights. Gilded City number one. So now this one we put in the top five solely because it is an uh, immediate uh, prelude to the Gotham Knights game, mm -hmm. which both Tommy and I have played. And I need to get more time in it, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, but we've the, really, but like I said earlier, we've both had very busy, hectic weeks. So yeah. gaming has not been. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> yeah. So the synopsis reads, though, the story is called Limited Editions. A mysterious virus has infected Gotham City, turning its victims into rabid, yellowed iris maniacs driven 
to looting, theft, and bursts of anger. Batman and his Gotham Knights struggle to keep this strange virus contained while investigating its origins. But this is not the first time this unusual illness has overtaken a city. Take a trip to Gotham in the mid-1800s and meet the city's first masked vigilante, the mysterious hero known only as the Runaway. As they do, as they too find themselves mired in the mystery of this infection. This thrilling and horrific tale split between modern day Gotham and the Gotham of 1847 leads directly into the video game. Uh, so this one is also for any of you playing the game, uh, going to each issue is going to have a code for people to redeem uh, exclusive items in game, mm-hmm. whether it be you know, variant skins, skins, bat cycles, stuff like that. Um, And then if you redeem all six items, or all six codes from the issues, you'll get a seventh special item, which I'm assuming will be something crazy. Hope so. Like a Nightwing Batman skin. (laughs) (laughs) The Black Mirror skin? Yeah, cool. but all in all, I mean, I do like this. Like they did this with Fortnite too. Yeah, like if you yeah. bought the Fortnite uh, game or they comic, made those then books you got jump in price because people wanted. Oh yeah, comments. like if you got it, you got yeah, a I skin. Don't think no, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Gotham Knights no, is gonna no. be Fortnite level, but I mean, I said fuck it. I was like, yeah, I'm getting it. And then yeah, I bought a wraparound variant, too. Like, I might as yeah, well. Like, yeah. I got the game. I might as well buy the comic. Right. So I think this is going to be a fun one, too. Like, 1800s Gotham was probably super fucked up. Like, oh, yeah. Bad. yeah, for sure. For sure. It's probably real bad. <laughs> and, I mean, even the main cover, it's Capullo. Yeah. So. Got to love Capullo. Capullo cover. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing the game. My question is, so it says Batman Gotham Knights and then it has the title Gilded City. So is this going to be like one of six and then we get Batman Gotham Knights other city? I don't know, like a different subtitle? Or like a prequel or, well, I guess that's or like an after. Honestly, it'll depend. That'll probably honestly depend like one on that continues the, how the, the game, game is. Yeah. Because, I mean, if they were really... Like, if this game was really so good and it it managed to get the multiplayer aspect working, I mean, why wouldn't they just keep it going, like, GTA style? Sure. So, the comics awesome. do... I hope so. The comics do lead to that is that, you know, they would be able to tell more stories that got people, or at least fans, to continue playing the game for, like, DLCs and stuff. Yeah, no, I'm down. No, but I, so I got the yeah. A cover, and then I got the uh, uh, Jim Lee and Scott Williams wraparound cover. That's a nice one, too. With all four of them. All right, but that'll take us on to our number four, which is going to be Punchline, the Gotham game number one. The Gotham game part one. Punchline is out of jail and back on the streets of Gotham City. She's not coming back for some of what Gotham has to offer. She's coming back for all of it. She wants to be the queen of crime, and with the help of her royal flush gang, you always love it when the royal flush gang comes back. You always love the royal flush gang. No one will stand in her way. But Punchline created a lot of angry enemies in Gotham before she was incarcerated, and they all want payback, presenting a miniseries that will redefine the criminal landscape of Gotham City from the superstar creative team of Teeny Howard, Blake Howard, and Gleb Mel- <laughs> Melnikov. Melnikov. Yeah. I mean... I lived in Poland. There you go. Thank, thank you for the save. <laughs> thank you for the save. Um, I, I don't know. I just think this is going to be a lot of fun. I really like the character punchline. I, I know she gets... A bad rep for being Harley Quinn 2.0, but she is very different. Like so if you if you if you my, just look at the pictures, it is very. It's almost like a yin and yang, like they're yeah. together, but they are opposites. Well, Harley was always it is always hot take, uh, ready to be behind people, right? Whether it be Batman or whether it be the Joker, right. whereas Punchline, it, like. The Joker's off doing the Joker stuff, and she's like, "Well, fuck you! I'm gonna just 
I'm do it all. That. Yeah. You know, like she she didn't want to be with the Joker. She wanted to be the Joker. Right. She was inspired by him. Yeah. So, I mean, this is going to be sweet. Uh, the backup story in uh, the Joker comic was all about Punchline being in jail and wild stuff going on with that. Um, I need to binge that one. I That's one I need to. That's on my list. I'm what, the Joker? For, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 worth it. it. There's no reason not to, honestly. Like it, it's a fun story, and the punchline stuff is pretty cool. She like basically is running Blackgate. Yeah, and it's tiny, so I like it. Yeah, I'm um, binging uh, Night House on a nice house on the lake right now. Oh really? Which is yeah, I still have to do that one. Wild. If you like horror, <laughs> if you like horror, read <laughs> Nice House on the Lake. It's it's really good. Yeah. No, I gotta catch up on that one. But no, either way, like punchline getting a new number one seems fun. Like yeah, it, oh, it's gonna be, yeah. it, it's mm-hmm. gonna be probably pretty messed up. There's gonna be something that like something nasty happens at some point. I mean, you would assume they're making a series yeah. to tell a story. She needs to gas somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and then again, you have the royal flush gang. The, the Ace of Spades is always the best. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, number three is going to be Vanish number two. So this one we we put on here solely because the series is awesome. Yeah. Like, like you guys need to pick up Vanish if you're not doing it. Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman, like it. One issue definitely had me hooked. Absolutely. Uh, so I'm Okey-dokey. I'm ready for more of it. <laughs> but <laughs> the synops- issue one got me so hard <laughs> yep. but so the synopsis reads meet Deacon Dust master illusionist and Oliver Harrison's close childhood friend why is this arrogant charmer coming into focus and what does the superhero team the prestige have to do with it all Oliver's, are- Oliver's past can- continues to come back and haunt him as the latest chapter of Vanish unfolds like I said, this Vanish one was so much fun, and it wasn't what I expected either. No, no, no. Like it's, reading it's the doing Spawn. Yeah, yeah. Like reading the uh, solicitation and like synopsis made it seem like something awesome, and then what actually jumped out of the page was better. Want to hear my hot take? Yes, this all, a, always. This Tommy's a, hot takes. Tommy's hot takes. This is going to be the rebirth of '90s comics nostalgia. Oh. All those comics that were in dollar bins, like those '90s X Men, those '90s, yeah. like all those '90s Batman, Superman, all that stuff that was just plentiful and everywhere. Yeah, I bet you that people those comics will be more sought after. In the next now, two or three years. Now, do you think that Image is going to lead the way on that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because Image at this point is pumping out comics. Yeah. And they're doing all this nostalgic stuff. Yeah. And then like you crossover? Have... Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like Donny Cates again. But yeah. like, you know, if somebody's trying to lead the way, there's there's a few names and Donny Cates is one of them. Yeah. And you also so, and you even have DC doing Wildcats. Like Wildcats yeah. is coming back in the DC universe. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> That's going <gonna laughs> <be good. laughs> Yeah, so this this one though is honestly it might be a spec book because first it's, appearances and yeah. if Tommy's first, hot yeah. take is correct. <laughs> I, th- then I think this is gonna be a, a it'll be a spec series. book. Yeah. I mean I don't but, see I don't see the create I mean the creative team's in charge. They run the company yeah. that's making this. They so get to do it they whenever have, they want. Yeah, unless they have some kind of falling out. I don't see this book stopping. I don't think that'll happen either. I think, I mean, this is kind of leading KLC Press. Like, Vanish, if you think KLC book Press, you think Vanish. Like, that's it. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you think they're going to be in it for the long haul. Will it be as long as Spawn? Probably not. But Probably not. <laughs> nothing is. Uh, I mean, maybe, though. If they yeah. find their own stride, you know. McFarlane would do three 12 issues you know what if they 
What if like Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman stopped doing other books and just pumped out as much Vanish? Well, that's I mean that's kind of the thought too with Tinyan. Yeah. You know, like why why stress yourself what's over he, what's a he doing that's not his own? Nothing right now. Nothing. He you know I mean, maybe I, he doesn't. Honestly, it's kind of the smart play when you're. If you're a writer or artist that has that kind of sway and like name, yeah. that just if someone like you and I, we have writers and artists who, if we see it on a cover, we're like, I'm trying that. Like, yeah. I'll at least try. I it. mean, that's the thing is, Marvel and DC are always going to have writers. Right. There's always someone who needs to write Batman. There's yeah. always someone who and needs to write Spider Man. There's always somebody for it. Yeah. But maybe they're the proving grounds. I mean, and, yeah, uh, look at it. Scott Snyder, Zdarsky, yeah, Tom King, Tom King's Maybe doing the... image books. He has that. Um, what is it? The uh, long love last... everlasting. Love everlasting. That's it. Yeah. No. So I mean, maybe that's that's the way it goes. Is writers and artists will prove themselves mm-hmm. at Marvel, make good oh, money yeah, doing that's it. That's so. absolutely the trend. And then you know, the actual new age comic renaissance is going to be stuff like this creator own people who Absolutely. killed the game. Like if Zadarsky can write Batman and <laughs> Daredevil <laughs> all like, and be fine. Yeah. Like he should, uh, I'll pay him to write other, like his own stuff. You know what I mean? Like, he is, he's doing, but he, that's the thing. He is doing his other stuff. I know that that is the like public domain. Yeah, public uh, domain. Just, I'm waiting for the first Zdarsky. volume of that. Zdarsky. <laughs> <laughs> we should just have like a Zadarsky podcast where every week we just talk about Zadarsky books. <laughs> it always and comes then back. Maybe one day he'll notice us. We just gotta start tagging him in these videos. <laughs> tagging, 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 being like, "Hey, summary of the video. We love Zadarsky for about 45 seconds to." Two minutes every video <laughs> at this time just go listen to that <laughs> all right all well, right so that'll take us on to number we got two on our list. to zadarsky we got there <laughs> nothing can keep us from zadarsky <laughs> we number, did what we gotta do <laughs> number two is image number seven so this is gonna be long-winded the image you know, okay, so don't don't read all those titles no i'm not i'm not <laughs> there's a bunch of titles yeah. Uh, our all-star celebration of Image's 30th anniversary continues with a new witches story from Scott Snyder and Jacques. Plus, Kieran Gillen and Steve Leiber begin a three-part serial with Closer. And mm-hmm. Jay Fair- Fairber unites eight artists for a noble for noble for a noble causes reunion. Okay. The issue also features the latest installments of The Blizzard by Jeff Johns and Andrea Muddy, Red Stitches by Brendan Fletcher and Erica Henderson, Gehenna by Patrick Kinlon and Maurizio, Maurizio Rosenzweig, Hack and Slash vs. Image, which is kind of cool, uh, by Tim Seeley and Stefano Caselli, and Dutch by Joey Case- Joe Casey and Nathan Fox, and of course, and course, the continuation of Philly Dogma by Dean Haspiel. Haspiel. And Stupid Fresh Mess by Scotty Young. So you got it. They, yeah. really, they really were like, they were like, all right, we know Tommy's going to read <laughs> this one. Let's put as many names. <laughs> that. Yeah, you know, my arch enemy names. That was a stupid amount of names. <laughs> That's Next. how packed this issue is going to be. I yeah. mean, look at that. Look at the names too. Absolutely. Uh like, top top picks for me is definitely gonna be witches. That's number one. Yeah. Stupid Scott Fresh Snyder Mess. And Jock. Yeah. Stupid Fresh Mess by Scotty Young, probably number two. Uh maybe the Blizzard number three. Hack slash first image four. I mean I'm excited for all of them, but really yeah. just when I mean, Kieran Gill Kieran Gillen and uh Steve Liber theirs is starting too which will yeah. be fun i mean when i, I think st- i'm sure that'll be a good good story yeah when i started picking up batman comics like single issues my first couple issues were part of black mirror 
And so Black Mirror is like my that's my Batman story. Like yeah. Dick Grayson is Batman after everything just and how detective like the detective comics side. Yeah. Because I find I feel like before New 52, the detective comics was kind of like the Batman book and then there was Batman. Yeah. Uh cuz I mean you had Snyder and Jacques on it and as with Dick is Batman and just that those covers alone are so iconic like the Joker with all the bats yeah or uh the Batman like swan dive cover Mm -hmm. there's just a ton of really I don't know it's just it's a special place so when witches came out I was super hype and super excited and loved the first volume and then I was like where now and then they said there would be more (laughs) and now here we are 2022 (laughs) We're getting. But so. I mean, we've put it, we've put a couple of these image books on our top fives. The Ryan, I mean, back yeah. over at Tommy one. Top Picks, yeah. and uh, I mean, just the beginning of it. Um, There's been a lot of first appearances in these two. Yeah, I it, these are gonna. They're all leading to something. They've said that sure. it's like yeah, yeah. this. There's like supposed to be twelve total, I guess. Yeah, and it's like. You know, we're we're gonna get a lot of first appearances and it'll be fun to see where everything goes. Oh, absolutely. Especially too now, like Image wasn't pumping out as many books. Now yeah, eight, it seems eight, like eight months ago when when well, Image were... One came out. But that's also the there was a big paper paper shortage then. Yeah. And so, so now everyone like... was scaling back on their prints. Yeah. Like even but I... the C work. It's it's interesting for them to have like a almost like a magazine that gives you the lead ups to all oh, these sure. big yeah, things, it's... and then like because they could take any of these stories and just pop in for a quick four issues yeah, randomly, yeah. like whenever. Yeah. So, uh, still, if there's something other than or someone other than. Zadarsky, we gotta love on every episode. <laughs> Scott Snyder. It's image. No, <laughs> it's <sure>. image. <laughs> <laughs> but not this week. Image doesn't take our number one. It's the Riddler Year One by Paul Dano and Steven Subic. Year one number one. Year so one, this one. is immediately following Matt Reeves, the Batman. Uh and the Riddler wasn't simply an amusing eccentric with an affinity for wordplay and baffling clues, but as terrifying a villain as any in the annals of the Dark Knight. Here you can see Edward Nashton evolve into the menace known as the Riddler. How did an unknown forensic accountant uncover the dark secrets of Gotham's underworld and come so close to bringing down the entire city? This six-issue miniseries is an immediate prequel to The Batman, the detailed, disturbing, and at times shocking story of a man with nothing to lose. So, this is just going to be, it's going to be fun. Like, I, I say that about so many of these issues, but, like, Paul Dano killed it. I, I really did like Paul it's Dano. Just, it was so different. It was, it's yeah. kinda, it's almost like, like, there was a dark Joker before Heath Ledger, but Heath Ledger kind of did it. Yeah. He, yeah. He pushed it over the edge. And I think that's what we had here with the Riddler. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't mean and... to compare them because they are two very different things. But I think this is just taking an actor taking on a Batman rogue and making it his own opposed to looking at the source material and just mimicking it. Yeah. I mean, Matt Reeves, to his credit, did that too. Like, I mean. Sure. Yeah, yeah the Batman was an interesting world to build. Oh yeah. I, I mean, like, yeah, they, yeah, did you see they, they announced there's, there's um, going to be a, there's gonna be a second one. Yeah. No, they, yeah, they announced that they signed on for it. Um, but no, I think, I think like you said, Paul Dano made that character his own. So to also who he's also a fantastic actor though. Sure. Oh yeah. Like I, I, everything he's in is, is good, but for him to take the character, and make his own story is going to be awesome. Yeah. Also, there's some sick variants, though. I know. The one in 250 Jim Lee. 
Yeah. Like, it's you know pretty where, good. Do you know where he's walking? In what? He's walking past the CVS. See the receipt. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this one will be fun and I I just think I, I'm down to see more of that Gotham. Cause I mean, show me as many Gothams as you want. I'll 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 buy them. Like <laughs> Hold on, I feel like I have to show this now. This is what I was referring to. Look at that by, thing. This is what I was referring to by the C V S receipt. But uh yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a gorgeous sketch. I am enough. I am enough. Yeah. So I mean, it's probably going to deal, it's going to deal heavily with his mental issues. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, he, if Batman's about one thing, it's about people with mental issues. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. He's himself included. <laughs> but. All he, right, so anything else to add on this one? Um, just strange life coincidence. The whole I am enough thing. When Jillian and I were house hunting, there was a house that we went to go visit, and in lipstick on the mirror was written I am enough. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's creepy, Tommy. It, it, we didn't. We didn't That's actually that creepy. One. You got, you have to, you <laughs> have to now get this cover. Cause it's like, if that's happened twice, like, at first it was on, like, how much is this going? A mirror, for? but now oh, probably a lot, dude. Probably a lot. At least now it's Friday, so we can actually see what the uh, current going rate for these comics is. That's true. I want to figure it out real quick. But yeah, if I mean, if it's affordable, you might have to own it because that's two times well, the world has put that in front of you. Once on a mirror, now on a comic. Well, here's the thing. Why don't we look on TCG Player? Yeah, that's true. Because TCG Player sells comics now, and we're going to do a video that talks about... That was my lead into our next video that we're going to do when we're talking about TCG Player selling comics. So until then, later this week, we will catch you guys later. Bye.